Hey, it's Teapak, and this is Ripples. It's another game from Sake Visual, and I don't really know much about it. So, what are some settings? I don't know. Seems good. <laughs> Start. There's something about people that just rubs me the wrong way. I think it started in grade school. Our teacher blew up a balloon, wrote self-esteem on the side, and taped it to the wall. She explained to us that we were all like the balloon. If we didn't have any self-esteem, we would only be limp and small and sad. Everyone else seemed really inspired, but it didn't click very well with me. Watching that balloon on the wall deflate a little bit each day until it withered away, I felt that self-esteem didn't do much other than make people falsely large for a little while but no one else seemed to notice. Everyone kept going along with their short little lives, puffed up with their self-esteem, getting smaller and smaller each day. What I hate most are these I those idealistic people who think they can change the world. Behind all those grand ideas of a better life, I think they're just desperate to be remembered, desperate to keep their withering balloons filled so they can feel important. But things never change. No matter how hard you fight, it hardly makes a difference. One person's life is just a drop in a bucket. A lot of people think I'm a real pessimist because I think this way, but it doesn't really bother me at all. It's easier to live life if I don't have to worry about changing the world. That way I can just concentrate on what I want, like my photography. The pictures I take will last a lot longer than I ever will, not like it matters. All I ever photograph is nature, things that will be the same until the end of time. I hate photogra photographing people. I hate people who leap into my view and prance around and wave their arms, desperate to be captured on film so they'll be remembered. There's no way I'll ever capture such, a worthless, such worthless things on film. When people die, they're gone, and that's fine with me. The city I live in isn't very, isn't very large, but there are so many places hidden away that I always find something new whenever I explore. Today it's this place. A small park tucked away between a row of trees and an old school building. There doesn't seem to be much here worth photographing, but at least there aren't any people either. I aim my camera at a nearby bush to check the lighting. It's late afternoon, but the sun is still high enough for me to get some decent shots. What's that sound? Something behind the bush is moving. I creep forward, holding my camera in front of me as it would actually provide a decent shield should something leap out at me. Considering how much this camera cost, I'd probably be better off if I just took the hit. It's a girl. What is she doing here? Is she crying? I take an uncertain step back. If some girl is using this place as her secret crying spot, I want no part of it. But the sound of crying sounds more like cats. Oh, hello. I'm not gonna lie, that English threw me. <laughs> I was like, whoa, she spoke in English. The girl looks up at me calmly, and I realize that she's patting a small kitten on the head. Two more kittens are rolling around with each other on the ground beside her. It must be the source of the crying I heard. Uh, hey. Sorry to bother you. I'm just gonna go. You're not a bother. Stay. The kitten that she's pa patting yawns lazily and paws at her hand. Here you go. She pulls out a cookie and holds it above the kitten's mouth. It reaches up and bats the cookie, bats at the cookie with its paw before clamping the cookie firmly between its tiny teeth. What are you feeding them? Cookies. I baked them myself this morning. Is that healthy? Sure seems like a waste to give that to a bunch of cats. No, it's worth it. They're just gonna die anyway, you know. Strays rarely live long in the streets. Wow, you are pessimistic, man. So? So why bother feeding them? They're hungry. Do we need any more reason than that? I guess not. But why cookies? Because they're the only ones who will eat it? What? Her cooking is bad. I'm sorry. I have to be home soon. She gives the kitten in her arms a fond pat on the head before leaving. She did not even say goodbye to me. I'm not sure whether or not I should be offended, but I guess it doesn't really matter. The kittens swarm around my feet, and I kneel down to take a few pictures of them. Uh, but it's already getting too dark to get any decent shots. 
At least not with this camera. I guess I won't be taking many pictures today after all. I don't know why I came back here. I keep telling myself it's just for photography, since I didn't get any good shots yesterday, but... I'm pretty sure I'm just lying to myself. Ah, you came back. I just want us to take a couple pictures. I'll get out of the way then. I snap a few half-hearted shots. But I keep glancing at her and all the kittens swarming around her. What are you feeding them today? Hmm, I guess you could call them donuts. Did you make those too? Sure did, this morning before school. I had to get up early to make them. Why? Well, the dough needs time to rise properly, you see. That's not what I meant. Oh? Then what? Why work so hard just to make food for a bunch of cats? Dude. <laughs> What's your problem, man? I told you, it's because they eat it. I've always loved baking, you know? The best thing about it is being able to share with others. There was a point in time when I wanted to own my own bakery. So? Last year, for a class project, I baked muffins for the entire class. I woke up early so they'd be fresh, and I filled them with the best ingredients I could afford. I wanted them to be something special. Except, no one liked them. A lot of girls wouldn't even try them, claiming they had strict diets. I was so happy when some boys took a couple, but then they just threw them at each other. I even gave some to the teachers who seemed to appreciate it. But at the end of the day, I found them in the trash. So you're not a good baker, well, then? Well, yeah. People never appreciate things they're supposed to. Working so hard for them is a waste of time. Maybe. After school, I came here. I wanted to cry, but these little guys came and cheered me up. I fed them the rest of the muffins, and they ate them without hesitation. Ever since then, I've brought them something every day. As a way of saying thanks. Thanks for what? For being happy when they eat my food. Gotta say, I, I like, like her hair. Anything else is seeing people smile when they eat what I bake. It's very colorful. I want to cheer people up and make the world a better place. That's stupid. Dude, asshole much? Stupid. Cheering people up is pointless. They'll just get depressed again anyway, and then they die. Do you really think that? Um, yeah. Wow. I see. That's awfully nihilistic of you. It is. Don't tell me you're gonna go all philosophy on me. Go all philosophic on me. No. Well, I have to get going. I'll see you tomorrow. What? My name is Koo, and you are? Coda. Then I'll see you tomorrow, Coda. Don't count on it. Of course. She smiles fondly at me and leaves. Again, the kittens turn their attention to me, but I don't bother to take any pictures of them. This place is so boring, and it's much too dark anyway. Even though I didn't get many shots today, I don't think I'll be coming back here. And yet, somehow... Hello, Coda. You're only here to take pictures, right? Yeah, the ones I developed yesterday weren't very good. You develop your photos? She sounds genuinely surprised. For some reason, I feel a little victorious. Digital is too easy. There's no fun in it anymore. It makes you sloppy, too, since you can afford to make mistakes. I see. This is for you. She hands me a small plastic bag tied with a ribbon. What is it? Cookies. You want some, right? What makes you think that? You came back, didn't you? With a sigh, I open the package. I'm greeted with, a s with the sweet smell of cinnamon and chocolate. I take a bite out of one. It's actually quite good. For a moment, I wonder why anyone would even think to dislike this girl's cooking. But I guess that's just the nature of people. I'm sorry. What? You're not smiling. It must not be very good. That's not it. I'm just a bit angry that people don't appreciate your baking. You shouldn't be. If you think it tastes good, then smile. Why are you trying so hard to get me to smile? Because you don't smile, and it's weird. You don't look like a happy person. Yep, that would be right. Spot on. Honesty is like an arrow to my heart. That's really none of your business. You're just proving it. It is if you keep coming here to see me. I didn't say I was coming here to see you. You didn't have to. Besides, it doesn't matter. I'll just be depressed again tomorrow anyway. Then I'll bring you more cookies tomorrow. Do you really want to see me smile that badly? 
I want to see everyone smile. Ah, <sighs> another impossible dream. This is why I hate people so much. You don't like people? Of course not. They always ruin things. How so? They leap into pictures when I don't want them to, or obsess over how they look as if it really makes a difference. I can't stand it! They're all so annoying. Am I annoying? Uh... Optimists like Ku have always aggravated me. But there's something about her straightforward honesty that's actually really refreshing. I don't know. She giggles and turns back to the kittens, patting one of them. Fondly on the head. Fair enough. It's not that you're annoying or anything, it's just... I strain my mind, trying to figure out how to explain my feelings. I just don't like people who think they can change the world. Why not? Because it's dumb. One person's life is just a drop in a bucket, after all. You don't really believe that. Yes, I do. It's better than believing that I actually change anything. Then why are you here? W what? You want to believe it, but you're just afraid to. You're afraid that you can't make a difference, so you don't try. That's not... That is exactly true. Don't argue. I can't actually bring myself to deny her statement. Koda. Yeah? Even if my life is just a single drop, every drop of water leaves ripples. Oh, ripples. She leaves before I can respond. I don't have a response anyway. Normally I'd be angry if someone tried to s sell some trite inspirational phrase to me. But this is different. She's not trying to sell me anything. It's really what she believes. Ku is so cheerful and confident, but there's nothing about her that's desperate or puffed up. She believes she can change the world with nothing more than cookies and a smile. Honestly, I don't know if she can or not. But I do know that she managed to change me. The sun is setting, and, I raise my, and as I raise my camera to photograph it, I can't help but wonder what she'll bring me tomorrow. Maybe I should bring something for her. Maybe I'll ask if I can take her picture. This is only the first drop. Wow. I like that. It was very short, but I like the message you gave. Thank you for reading. So what are bookmarks? Oh, I don't think I need to save. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Okay, well. Thanks for watching. This was Ripples. And it was by Sake Visual. I really like them. I don't know what else they have, but... I think I'll play some more if they have some more. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.